plenty of ways to beat the winter blues and we're hoping this weekend is a good one weather wise so that you can get out in gorgeous Prometica Promenade Park for the Fire and Ice Winter Festival. Robin Whitney is here from Prometica along with Ed Vizinski from the Blarney and Cindy Kerr from Connect Toledo. Good morning. Thanks for being here today. Good morning. Good morning. This is so awesome because it's, a, it's the first time we've done this and we just kind of get people out in the winter time, right? Absolutely. We have a lot of events in the summer as, mm -hmm. as everyone knows. We've had some great concert yeah. series the last couple of years yeah. but we decided we needed to do something to get people out in the winter. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about what people are going to experience. This all starts Thursday evening, right? It starts Thursday evening through Saturday. It's called Fire and Ice and the idea is uh, really to um, kind of celebrate the, the winter. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot of um, a lot of things that are uh, around those themes. So yeah. uh, there will be um, hot glass performers, but there will be fire eaters. The games oh. all have an ice theme. Yeah. There's ice sculpting. So uh, depending on how the weather is, we're going to mm -hmm. be playing tic-tac-toe in the ice and, <laughs> and different things like that. If it's that. too warm, but, yeah, I mean, it could be a little slippery, it, but, it, but right. fun all the same. Right. But right? lots of areas to keep warm. There's mm -hmm. going to be DJs, mm -hmm. entertainment. There will be a zip line. There will be princesses for the little <laughs> girls. Um, a lot of different a lot of different fun events for people to, to be involved in and, and to just watch. Yeah, so the kids are will be, you know, entertained, but the parents as well. Um, Cindy, talk a little bit about uh, in addition to Dora that we just learned about. Sure, so we actually work with the City Council mm -hmm. to extend Dora to the riverfront properties, and so that's going to include Promenade Park, mm -hmm. which is where Fire and Ice is being held, but Promenade Park actually extends all the way along the riverfront, too, so you'll be able to take, you know, a beverage from one of the existing mm -hmm. providers and be able to kind of stroll along the riverfront, too. Very good, so it's for the whole family, you know, the kids and the, and the adults alike uh, having a good time and eating some good stuff while they're downtown, too. Of course, uh, you're kind of Mr. Downtown, I feel like, <laughs> as far as restaurants, especially are concerned with the Blarney and Picachas. Uh, talk a little bit about the soup cook-off. So when I got the call from Mona at ProMedica, and I knew it, they do great events in the summer, and she talked about fire and ice, and what can we do to add to it, and we threw around ideas, and um, great restaurants downtown, mm -hmm. and we're like, let's do a soup cook-off. So we contacted a bunch of restaurants mm -hmm. in downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's eight different ones. Okay. Um, it's $5 to get in that day for that taste. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to a great charity mm -hmm. um, to help um, some hungry people out there. So um, noon to three is the uh, cook-off. So right during lunchtime, that's on Saturday, right? Yep. And um, you are going to bring both the Kashas and Barney's going to have, going to be represented we there. Are. Any kind of giveaways? Uh, Akasha's <laughs> is uh, making a homemade matzo ball and homemade noodle chicken noodle mm. soup and the Blarney is doing a uh, polo loco okay. crazy chicken soup. A crazy uh, yeah. chicken soup. So something a little different and fun. Okay. And, yeah. yeah, so you can come on out and stay warm with some soup and uh, you know it might be a little bit warm outside too and then you can play all the activities and really enjoy yourself outside. Um, again, give us the times for when everything is, is so happening. So 5 to 7 on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Friday night it'll be uh, later. It'll be Friday okay. starting at 5 as well and then on Saturday it starts at noon and, and lasts till 9 o'clock and then there'll, there'll be fireworks oh, at 8.30 on Saturday night. Those will be set off at International Park right um, across but, the river but everyone there. will be able to see it. Yeah, from, you'll, be, from you'll have a so. great viewing area there from yeah. Promenade Park. Yeah, so all day Saturday. There'll and be we have a tent. Events. We have a couple big tents down right. there. Right. So yeah. yeah so. A lot of areas to stay warm, lots mm -hmm. of indoor events, and uh, little, it'll be a great time. Very good. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. We Thank appreciate you. it. Yep. There's more Your Day to Come. Thank you for making us part of your Wednesday morning. We'll be right back.